In this video, I will show you how to add custom menus and submenus in Google Spreadsheet. You can automate tasks by clicking these menus. Let us first open the script editor by clicking Extensions and then choosing App Script. We will start with an onOpen function, which is special in that it's automatically called whenever the spreadsheet is opened. Inside this function, we'll declare a UI variable, which will hold the UI environment for a Google App Script allowing us to add features like menus, dialogues, and sidebars. Next, we'll create a menu by calling the create menu method and provide the menu's name, which here is custom menu. Next, we will add a menu item called hide rest. We do this by calling the add item method on the created menu. This method expects two parameters, the name and the function name. Similarly, we will add another menu item called show all and assign show all function to it. Then, we'll append this to the UI using the add to UI method, which create the menu in the menu bar. At this point, you might notice that we haven't defined those two functions yet. Leaving it like this will result in an error. So let's add these function blocks one by one. Currently, they're empty, and we'll insert the necessary code in them. Now let's run this. The first time you run this, you'll need to go through an authorization workflow, allow all the required permissions and choose Go to unsafe. It will take some time, but it's one time process only. You will be asked again to authorize in case you bring in other services like Gmail services, Drive services, and so on. So we are back to our spreadsheet, and we can see the custom menu here. And when we click it, we can see our both menu items. However, clicking it will not do anything as our functions are empty now. Now let's complete the hide rest function. First, we'll declare a sheets variable to contain an array of all the sheets in this spreadsheet. We do this by calling getActiveSpreadsheet and then using the getSheets method on the spreadsheet app object. Then we get the active or selected sheet by calling getActiveSheet method. Now we'll loop over each sheet in the sheets array. If its name doesn't match the active sheet's name, we'll hide it. It's a straightforward logic. Similarly, we'll complete our show all function. First, we get all the sheets in the sheets array. Then we loop over them and show each one using the show sheet method. Now let's see this in action. Open our spreadsheet, click on custom menu, then click on hide rest. It should work. Next, click on show all. This should also work. Feel free to make a copy of this spreadsheet and experiment with it. I'll leave the link in the description below. Please consider subscribing to my channel. It will greatly help me for my YouTube journey.